Hey guys, Davison here. It's been so long since I've made a reaction video in bed, so uh, tonight's the night. <laughs> Anyhow, I just found a video on Reddit's cringe called Jenna Marbles Weight Gain After Giving Up Her Vegan Diet, and it's by a woman called Freely the Banana Girl. Might be a little bit bananas, this banana girl. And she goes through numerous Jenna Marbles videos and shows how Jenna Marbles used to be a bit thinner a couple years ago, uh, back when she danced around in her bikini on her channel. It's actually a really sexy video if you want to check it out. Jenna looking hot in bikinis. Um, and since then, she's put on, I don't know, 15 pounds, maybe 20 max. But honestly, Jenna's still quite thin and she looks healthy and if she's happy right now with her diet and her life why would she want to go back to being 15 pounds thinner would it really improve her life because that's what I think a lot of the time people fail uh, to realize about being thinner or extreme thinness or leanness is that you're making a lot of sacrifices to look that way and sacrifices are generally painful. So by looking better, ironically, you're introducing more pain into your life. Though this girl freely, the banana girl would argue that no, there are painless ways to be thinner being the fruitarian, which means eating predominantly fruit vegan diet. Though I must note that I have read numerous places that fruitarianism is actually dangerous for the human body because you're consuming too much fructose or fruit sugar and it can have adverse effects on your pancreas. Also, any high carb diet will cause your body to produce more insulin and store more fat. So I don't know how this woman freely is getting away with saying that a high fruit, high carb, low fat diet makes you lose weight. Scientifically, I just don't believe that to be true or from what I have read it is not true unless you're spiking your insulin levels in your blood so that much like a diabetic whose blood sugar is too high your body wastes uh, water and you become increasingly thirsty to compensate for your high blood sugar levels which which causes you actually to drop weight uh, diabetics that don't have controlled sugars are actually thinner than those uh, with well-managed sugars frequently so maybe that's what she's doing to herself. She doesn't realize that, that she's screwing up her pancreas um, and uh, her insulin levels are always extremely high. But yet she has these this flat stomach and uh, this woman freely apparently lost 40 pounds from when she was pregnant by going on this raw fruit diet. Whatever. All I wanted to say was that it's none of her business how much Jenna Marbles weighs. Jenna, if you're watching this, you look amazing to me. You're humpable. You're beautiful. I've met you several times, actually. Uh, you met me. I was crying in a bathroom. A playlist. I won't about. A, I won't tell you what it was. It was about a boy. But it doesn't matter anymore because that's over now. But <laughs> and uh, I wasn't paying attention to how much you weighed. I just thought you were a beautiful person, both inside and out. And really, that is what matters. So long as someone is healthy and managing their life well and they're not on a self-destructive path which clearly Jenna Marbles is not. This fruit girl however might be a little bit bananas. So if you want to watch the video, the fruitarian girls video here, I really need to see the scientific evidence that her diet is superior to an omnivorous diet and um, yeah frequently being super skinny just makes you super sad. Who the fruitarian wants that?